For now, majority, being a student hey, in sixth grade, living with family, how can I bring spirituality in my daily life? By doing what you are doing right now. Hmm? Ask, question, and seek to understand. Right? If you are in grade 6, you are already quite grown up. Hmm? Never take things for given or granted. You have a right to know and understand. Right? Ruthlessly question everything. And patiently and devotedly seek to understand. That's all. There is so much that is around you. There is so much that is going on. All of that is man-made. All of that is therefore subject to change and investigation. You have a right to know. You must ask the most fundamental questions. What is a school? What does it mean to move from grade 6 to grade 7? What does it mean to be an American versus an Indian? Why do we call somebody a girl and the other a boy? What is the mental difference between the two? Does the society differentiate between the two? What is our relationship with the supermarket? When you look at all the things that are being sold in the markets, then apply your curiosity. Question intelligently, from where are these products coming? Right, to me, here they appear neatly packaged and the canisters are shining. But what is it that is inside them? Papa, can you tell me about the production process? And even before the production process, can you tell me from where are the raw materials being sourced? Isn't it important to know these things? That's what all spirituality is about. Knowing life in its wholeness. Not remaining limited to only that which is immediately visible. Seeking the totality of everything, that's a spirituality. Right? When you look at a garden, you must ask, what was here before the garden? Yes, the grass is green, but there are other things green as well. Were they here before the grass was? Why does man seek to fly? What is the importance of all the innovations that man is continuously making? Why do one people wear certain types of clothes whereas other people have entirely different tastes or norms? Are you getting it? These are all obvious things, these are things that you daily see all around and take none of them for granted. Nothing is holy, nothing has been ordained from the above. We said all of it is man-made and therefore all of it is available to be questioned. Right? Holiness does not lie in meekly bowing down. Holiness lies in Fearless application of intelligence. Hmm? As a young person, you must be fearless and you must be devoted, you must be experimental and you must be patient and very diligent. All these things go together. Questioning would be of not much help if you don't have the diligence to go deep into a matter. 
right and when you go deep then it takes time so you need patience as well hence all these things form one set okay have i given you too much all right then proceed with this